All right, everybody, welcome back to Wisdom and Brews. I'm already doing videos here on surviving as an empath. Um, <laughs> basically came to the conclusion about a week ago that I, that I definitely fall into this. I mean, the more that I see people describe being an empath, I've just looked into the work of uh, Judith Orloff. She's a psychiatrist. She's a medical doctor who also identifies as an empath, apparently worships the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so she kind of has that overlap, the same overlap that I do, where it's like I'm actually a working professional, but I'm really into the spiritual stuff. Just get the drugs, man. Just <laughs> I always, I always feel like there's always that side of spirituality where it's just like, let's just sit and TP and do drugs. That's spirituality. I just <laughs> that's not my road, man. That's not my path. But so in this video, I'm actually gonna. I'm actually going to talk about how I have really uh, survived and thrived as an empath because I got onto Reddit and realized that there is a whole subreddit of people uh, filled with people who identify as an empath who are really, really suffering. Uh, they have, uh, they're really struggling to navigate these waters, okay? And I realized I'm actually doing a lot better than most. <laughs> I've been doing a lot better than most empaths out there. And... Apparently, I have more to offer, <laughs> I believe, uh, more tips and tricks uh, to offer to empaths um, in terms of, of surviving and thriving than, than I, I think a lot of them do. They're, they're, just, they're, they're lost, and they're, they're, uh, empaths are suffering. Empaths take on the problems and issues of the world. Um, we, we don't fit into boxes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into this, okay? I'm, I'm just going to get into this list, because I, I wrote a little bit of a Reddit post. Someone asked me, because I was like... The Reddit post uh, uh, that I'm looking at is just basically talking about how uh, current events in the news are really draining, and I mentioned and I mentioned that hey, yeah, it used to drain me too, but now I'm thriving, and, I'm, and it's because I just turned it off. So my advice is to turn it off, turn off the news, get rid of it, get rid of social media. If you're an empath, the news and social media is poisoned. It's just it's gonna kill you. It's brutal. It just it will drain you and. And I know what it's like to, to just have that exhaustion, just then physical sickness from just being drained this way. And so um, someone asked me, what kinds of things do I do to replenish myself and protect my energy? So this, this is basically what I put. Um, number Here's the first thing is you have to understand that uh, all of this stuff that I'm going to talk about, it's a lifestyle. But I talk about this on this channel all the time about how... Uh, spirituality it's it's a lifestyle you can't expect to do two or three things in a day and then the rest of your day is garbage and then wonder why you're still suffering okay it's really a lifestyle okay and <clears throat> so my first thing is you have to you have to develop and exercise self-respect um, if you don't feel uh, worthy or willing uh, to do this for yourself um, then the other things are, are not, you're not going to be able to do the other, other things. We, we seem to have this sense of, of duty. Um, we seem to have this overdeveloped sense of responsibility or duty for society to take care of others or fix the problems in the world. Okay, exercising self-respect. So first of all, if you don't have this, the other stuff is going to be extremely difficult. You have to give yourself permission to take good care of yourself. And, and it's okay to do so. <clears throat> and I, I just refuse to apologize to do what's good for me. As long as it doesn't hurt other people, okay. Number two, cut off the sources of suffering. Cut, uh, get rid of the toxic people, uh, the drain, the people that drain you, the people that won't do anything for themselves. To me, the people that are draining are the people that won't do anything for themselves. The people that that uh, won't help themselves. Those people will drain you the most. Get rid of them. Um, getting rid of the news. Getting rid of social media. Okay. Number three, uh, realizing. Um, I can't, you have to realize you cannot do things the way that other people do them. You have to accept this. Um, I just learned very young when I, uh, when I was young, um, the more that I tried to stuff myself into a mold or a certain box, the more I, was, I just suffered. And so, and people will tell you, you got to fit in this mold. You got to fit, fit into this box. And they don't understand. People that don't understand this. Um, <laughs> so it's okay to like, okay, distance yourself from the bye. If, if they don't understand and they don't, they don't make an effort to understand, they might not be good for you. Um, so part of this self-respect is giving yourself permission to, to just walk your own path. Okay. Uh, number three, this is consciously and deliberately um, choosing what you actually care about. Okay, I only have so many 
things that I can care about before I'm just like, oh, just like, I feel like the batteries, my, my batteries have been taken out, right? And so um, I adopted three words years ago, not my problem. And I know this sounds heartless to some people, but as an empath, if you make everything your problem, you're going to go home at the end of the day and you're going to feel like you're dying. I've been there. Believe me, I've, I've, I know what that's like. And so um, I, I have to be very, very choosy about where I put my energy and my efforts and my attention. And so I'm very deliberate and conscientious about where I do that. What number are we on? <laughs> Whatever number comes after the previous number that I mentioned, okay? I attend to and I foster my dark energy. I use, sometimes I will use like dark energy or like a little bit of anger, a little bit of that like toughness is a little bit of an emotional shield. Uh, I've used aggressive rock music my whole life as a way of, a, as a form of catharsis. Um, I, most of us have a tendency to think, oh, I have this negative dark side to myself and I shouldn't have it. That makes me bad. And instead of what I've done, is I've just made it a, a part of my personality. I've welcomed it to the table. I just make it a part of me and it's like a lot of people meet me and they, they just see like this guy who's like this golden retriever <laughs> and they're shocked that I listen to like Slipknot and Tool um, and Korn. Um, so uh, attend to your dark energy, okay? Uh, don't ignore it. Uh, if you do that, it'll go underground and it'll pick up power, it'll pick up speed, and it'll come out in ways that you don't want it to. So you have to attend to your dark energy, okay? Make it a part of who you are. Uh, and the, the last one, um, not surprisingly at all, if you watch my channel, the number one, this is the number one thing that helps me thrive as an empath and it's meditation and mindfulness. Um, it's there, they are kind of different, but they're also very similar. Um, I have, I do deep meditation. I do long meditations. I do healing meditations. I do loving meditations. Um, it's just, they just recharge me. Um, even in the middle of a work day. Like I'm a therapist, right? And I, and I see people and, um, you know, back to back. And sometimes if I have a short break, I'll close the door and do a short meditation, like five minutes. It really helps. It really, really helps. I've also learned a, a method called the warrior's meditation that just has to do with like using your senses and focusing for a very short amount of time and, and suddenly letting go and getting your brain to go in a certain uh, type of brain waves. Uh, for short periods of time, like a minute, and it's and even that is positive. Even that's helpful. Okay, so that, my friends, is my basic uh, rundown of how I survive and thrive as as an empath. And I just want to add this one last thing too, is that I am giving myself permission to just be different, and and. I can't fit in and do things the way that other people do it. And that's okay in giving myself permission to live that way. Um, I, I love my alone time. I always have. Um, I'm just one of those, like, I, I've always wondered what's why I love my alone time. I mean, ever since I was a kid, like 10 years old, it was just like, woohoo. Um, and so uh, it's okay to, to do what's good for you. Turn off the news. <laughs> Get rid of social media. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Go check out Wisdom and Bruce for more content on how to thrive, man. On um, how to empower yourself and live spiritually. Happy journeys, friends. Namaste.